So, I've already kinda hinted that my graduation was... Um, pretty nuts. And today I'll tell you all about it. While drawing another little rankin in a scary art style. Anyways, first I'll run you real quick through how school works where I live. You go to elementary school for 9 years and then you go to high school for another 4 years. Graduate and then you're pretty much out and can get a job or study in college or university or anything that's up to ya. Well, and this little 14 year old me decided to go to an art school after elementary. Let's call this school just art school. There's like two in this country, but you don't really need to know which one is it, do ya? And in this art school, well... It was a very interesting experience, but we're here to talk about the graduation project and how I literally got away with the impossible. But we're skipping ahead, so let's start with the very beginning. I enrolled into this art school and found out there is this graduation project every student has to do at the end of the fourth year to like graduate. It's two works you have to do. At first the school tells you the theme, we called it the mandatory work and the second can be literally whatever you want. We called it the optional work. It's very direct translation. This school also prided themselves a lot in that optional work can be literally anything. So my little autistic brain was like, oh hell yes, I'll make a manga, but not just any manga. No, 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 no. I was set on making 200 pages of manga. I wanted to make a book. Two, zero, zero pages. Yes, it was a pretty crazy idea, but even crazier is how I actually managed to pull it off. First year of art school I did like nothing. I started working on it at the start of the second year. I was jumping on an awful lot, but regardless, got like 10 or 20 pages done before the pandemic hit and when it did, we were all on lockdown from the half of second year to like most of the third. Anyways, during that time I literally drew like crazy to actually make it before the fourth year started and I've made a around two pages a day, just a literal speed run. And I managed to finish it just as I planned. And now the actual fun part starts, because in order to pull this one off, I needed to actually somehow walk around a policy I had no clue existed. The three month period. It was a period in which you had the time to actually work on the project and you had to show your progress to your main teacher and the opposing teacher. And I actually walked around it just because my damn stars aligned perfectly or I have no clue. But first, let me just explain how this three month period actually worked. We had to first write what will be our optional project because the mandatory one was given and once that was written and printed and signed and I don't know what else, it was given. You just couldn't change it anymore. We also had two teachers who checked our work over, let's call them Mr. Plate and Miss Hill. One of them also led the entirety of the graduation projects and that was Mr. Plate. Both of these teachers led the graduations for the first time as well. Mr. Plate was an amazing teacher and actually only thanks to him I was able to put Michizu on the paper of the optional project. Michizu being the manga I've made, you can read it online but it's not very good. Anyways, he gave me the paper without really asking anything and since he likes manga in Japan, he was really excited about what I was trying to pull off. Be it literally anybody else, I'd probably fly off the window by the time I write M on the paper. You'll see why very soon. The mandatory project was an ad video and in that case I chose to make an animated intro ad kind of thing for Michizu, which I had a song for made as well, but we're skipping ahead here. As said, there were 
two lead teachers and they had to help us with our work depending on what we chose to do. Those who chose photography and video had Mr. Plate and those with animation and art had Miss Hale. As much as I'd love to have Mr. Plate, I had Miss Hale but I was fine with that since she was at the time quite chill as well. At the start of the three month period she was asking around about what we are doing and literally turned green when I told her. <laughs> but not because of the scale of what I was trying to pull off but because I literally had everything done already and I've thought of everything. She asked me about everything, from chapters to cover to that little page on the back informing you that it's read from right to left. I said yes to everything. I literally had it finished, nothing to do except the mandatory work. Miss Hill was pretty damn panicked about that because we needed to show the progress and there was also some random guy from another art school who would be checking it over and it was a problem. We settled on making three posters for the work just in case. And as for my mandatory work, I have a Cintiq at home and we had none at school. So I had to gain permission from the principal to go home early in those three hour sessions we had with those teachers so I can work on the animation. I literally got told that <coughs> you're a good student. I would normally not allow this to anyone but I'll allow it for you. I just couldn't tell anybody about it but I got to go home early twice a week to work and work I did. I've gotten the manga printed. I had to reorganize the pages to go backwards because we read left to right and had to edit them all thrice to be the correct size. It was a mess but I did it. I printed out 11 copies for school, friends and to sell. Mr. Plate bought two of them as well. Best teacher for real. Now for the video ad. It needed to be one minute long but I had two minutes worth of song I paid for. So hell yes, I was using all of it and made the animation twice as long. It's also pretty crappy, but hell, I had no clue how to animate before it. In that context, it's pretty good. So yeah, I've gotten this project done with an impossible amount of luck and dedication. Imagine at that time I didn't even realize how lucky I was to even pull through all of that. Even just getting it on the paper was a damn miracle. Then we had to present our projects in a goddamn cinema, which was pretty stressful. Miss Hill literally stared at me like that rock eyebrow meme and that just completely stressed me out. And I ran off as soon as I said some basic about the project. But the guy from the other art school was impressed as hell and I got full A from all of them. Like my work spoke for itself, like what can I say? And since it was public, some students came to watch and two girls then walked to me and told me what I did was cool as hell and that they never thought of making a manga for graduation, which was pretty wholesome. And of course, I graduated. But now for the aftermath. I have a friend one year below me who keeps me updated on all the crazy stuff that happens in this art school. And it's not a little bit, trust me. Since I graduated, Miss Hill went pretty downhill as a teacher. Fun not included. She's not as nice as she used to be. Most of the teachers switched from the optional work can be anything to Please do your work in the 3 month period. Our graphics teacher even said to my friend's class something along the lines of Do your work in the 3 month period, not like that one guy who did it 3 years beforehand. And everybody remembers our graduation as a complete disaster. Well this is how it ends up if you tell an autistic kid he can do anything. This autistic kid is gonna pull up the craziest thing imaginable. Also guess whose project plays on the school TV every time on the open days? I bet once I become a famous mangaka they be like Oh my god look this dude studied in our school! But nobody is gonna talk about how I broke the graduation system without even knowing. Well anyways, it has been fun telling you this story today. It's such a crazy thing I actually was able to pull something like this off without even knowing how lucky I was. But actually anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If anything is not making sense, I can explain it in the comments. I might have forgotten some details. But well, thanks for watching and or listening. And see ya!